Now that President Biden has made it official, the campaign for the White House really kicks into high gear. And as decisive as it is for the country, it can also be a point of contention in households, among families, in the workplace, all over the place, really. So how do you get to November of 2024 with your relationships still intact? Mm, well, new this morning, our John Shumway sought out some expert advice. John, what did they say? Well, boiled down, the recommendation is think long and hard before you speak, e especially around those who really matter to you. The years have done nothing to quell the emotional divisions in our country. Yeah, they seem to be intensifying. We're so polarized that you could find yourself at odds with a lifelong friend or a family member. Psychologist counselor Dr. Ruben Brock says think about what you're trying to achieve in a political conversation. Whether it's Democrat or Republican, you're not going to sway them with with whatever you came up with last night, you know, while you were thinking about it over dinner. It's really difficult to change somebody. It's really difficult to change their mind. Counselor David Morris says your approach can be the difference between a quiet discussion and something that gets out of control. You know, there's a way to say something that is uh, aggressive and divisive, and there's a way to say something that says, hey, this is how I see it. This is how my brain is working. You got to make a decision. What do I want to do in that scenario? Do I want to engage? And then we have this all out political battle over over the mashed potatoes. That can happen easily. And Morris says plan an exit strategy. You do something to separate yourself from that type of conflict. If it's a close relationship and you know you have opposite views. What I suggest for, for lots and lots of people is don't have the conversation. Both experts warn that if you cross the belligerence line, you may sacrifice the relationship. Or you'll run into a lot of avoidance by other people. Now, if you're headed for a family get together and think about it, there are a lot coming up and there's that one person who's going to be there and you know that they push your button. Establish the ground rule rules at the outset. Just say, hey, we're not going to talk about that today. It's absolutely true. Is it? There's like one person yep. always that you know what you're in for. All right. So, uh, there's so many graduations coming up, weddings. I mean, it is sort of a time that's ripe for these kind of confrontations. Yeah, no doubt about it. So you need to keep in mind and keep this in your head before you go into it. Uh, what exactly you're going to do. And Morris points out kids are going to be at those gatherings as well. So tread softly and back to their first point. You're not going to change the other person's mind right. and trying to do so may not be worth the damage you'll do to the relationship. And you know what? At those gatherings, let's not add alcohol to the situation. That might just make it worse. Yeah, that, right? that could be a factor. Yeah. That Absolutely. definitely yeah. could be a factor. Avoid that.